Thursday, cooking with Kevin. This week we are doing a peanut butter stuffed, and that's really all it's called. That's what the recipe. So you, it can be a stuffed cookie or stuffed brownie because we're using cookies and brownies. So what you're going to need is you're going to need one bag or a 10 ounce, which is approximately uh, like one box of brownie blend, whatever your favorite brownie is. Uh, plus your egg, oils, whatever water that you require to mix that. Uh, one Reese's peanut butter cup per uh, per insert in the muffin tin because we're using a, a muffin tin. So I have 12 uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. You had 14. No, actually, I had 16. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, one pack of refrigerated cookie dough. We're using the Pillsbury chocolate chip cookie dough. Be right back. I had to get my cookie cream. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna spray our pan because you don't use any uh, inserts, paper inserts for this. Spray it and uh, Put it aside. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our brownies. Uh, this brownie mix that I'm using here, uh, it does say uh, not to use a, uh, a mixer. And it's just one pack of the brownie mix. One third cup of water and one egg. And we're just going to mix it up. here. Okay, I have to pause because I get a runny nose. I'll be back. back. Crisis averted. Okay, now we are going to open up our cookie dough. Now this here is basically divide the cookie dough into 12 equal parts. Put it into the bottom of our muffin tin.
Oh yeah. Now we're gonna take peanut butter cups and we're gonna flip them upside down. I bought the peanut butter cups. I got them at Walmart. Um, they actually come, so they were in a bigger pack of eight and they were individually wrapped. And they were $2 a piece. Now they are a little bit smaller than like what you would get if you bought the packages, but they're just, they're actually the perfect size for this application uh, that we're doing. Okay, now we are going to take our mix and we're going to fill the cups that I just need. My scoop. And it says to fill it about to 90% full, uh, but I, it's going to be very close to, to actually filling these just because of the space around it. But that's okay. And you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350. to it. Now we're going to put it in the oven for uh, 18 to 20 minutes until they're done. So when we're ready for the taste test, I'll bring you back. Okay, brownies are done. Oh. And I'm going to split it open. Ah, just there we go. To show you how they Turned out, you can see the peanut butter cup right in the middle, brownie on top, and the cookie on the bottom. Mmm. Wow. Oh. Mmm. Mm hmm Very good, sweet. That's because of that peanut butter cup in the middle. That is delicious, very good, quick, easy. It doesn't take very long uh, to do it. The longest part was actually in the oven. I did do them for, for 20 minutes. Uh, I had to be a little careful taking them off the muffin, muffin tins. Let, um, as soon as you take them out, if you take uh, uh, something thin and just go around underneath the, uh, 
the brownie if it's on top of the muffin tin. That way it'll help once it uh, once they cool down, it won't stick as bad on that on that muffin tin. And then that I just flipped it upside down and they they fell out just fine. So, anyways, uh, that is the peanut. Yeah, the peanut butter cup stuffed rookies. There, <laughs> it's a mouthful to remember. All right, folks. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. And like I always say each week, uh, I always change it up. I don't know what I'm going to make next week because my wife has sent me like 20 different recipes. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much and we'll see you next week.